right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Ah, wir müssen eine Lektüre wieder wählen. Psychologie, Politik, da brauchen wir glaube ich keine Punkte mehr, Etikette auch nicht. Dann nehmen wir Psychologie, die Leiden des jungen Wärter. Und das Kapitel kann losgehen. Damit herzlich willkommen zurück. Irgendwie habe ich den Eindruck, die Musik ist lauter, kann das sein? Vielleicht machen wir sie mal ein bisschen leiser. Sound und Titel, genau. Nicht, dass ich euch hier nicht mehr, dass ihr mich nicht mehr hören könnt. Gut. Jetzt ist es aber faktisch weg. Okay, alles ein bisschen merkwürdig. Hm, zumindest ist die Musik äh, weg. Gut, ähm, wir ähm, sollen diesen Ort finden. Und es gab doch diese Galerie die auch hier ab, äh, davon abgehen soll. Aber erstmal reden wir mit dem Kardinal. Well, ich. your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, this sin no gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. <laughs> Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Wollner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. Benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> And you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing. Your minutes, but I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but while I have you with me, I... I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. I beg your pardon? Yes, La, la Gorgogne, the Medusa from Greek mythology. Would you have seen one in any shape or form? Uh, not at all, my son. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be of any use to you. Thank you anyway, your minutes. I won't take up any more of your time. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, your minutes. See you later, my son. Ich würde gerne mal ein bisschen mehr über diese Schmetterlinge rausfinden. Aber kann ich wahrscheinlich nicht so einfach. Ich finde das schon sehr auffällig, dass hier so viele rumfliegen. Ist aber leider auch nichts, was ich noch am Tisch mitnehmen kann. Oder? Nee. Gut, wir gehen mal weiter hier runter. Ich habe so ein bisschen das Gefühl. Erstmal ist hier was. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Hm, habe ich noch keinen Schlüssel für. Hm. Nächstes Mal muss ich einen Dieb spielen. Schlüssel mit einem okkulten Erdsymbol. Ach so, okay, so ein Wow. Das ist schon etwas beeindruckend. Ich 
not true. The Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Geht das jetzt hier im Spiral? Nee, das geht hier nur so rum. Ich dachte, ich würde jetzt hier ewig in der Bibliothek rumhängen. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Ich glaube, jetzt habe ich sie abgeschlossen. Chinese coin. Ah, hier ist diese Galerie, glaube ich. Die Bildergalerie. Schon mal die Augen offen halten. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? in den Raum zeigen lassen offensichtlich. Aber gut, wir sind nicht hier, um rumzuhocken. Gucken einmal, ob hier drüben sich was befindet. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion. Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's Amber. pretty remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, François Premier, receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning by his father Apollo, for borrowing his chariot from the fragile amber. Moral: The Company by Rembrandt. Hm. Also, mir ist nichts, wo ich jetzt sofort an eine Minusa denken würde. Aber wir gehen mal in diesen Nebenraum. Aber schon auffällige äh, Bilder, die er hier besitzt. Das ist Mr. Mortimer. Hm. A painting with no name. Hm. A painting with no name. Da ist sie. Aber erstmal gucke ich mir hier nochmal das an. Hm. Oder auch nicht. Und einmal will ich noch hier drüben in den Sekret beim Sekretär gucken. Ne, da ist aber auch nichts. Dann gehen wir hier zu Medusa. mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Müssen wir den ja drehen. Ok, 
kann hier den Wert der When I see the lantern and the shield, I can't help thinking back to my childhood. Mr. Dorfer, our teacher. As soon as the sun came out, I got a kick out of distracting him with the inkwell by deflecting the light with it. <laughs> I'd turn it in such a way as to direct a spot of light onto his face, not strong enough to dazzle him, but just enough to annoy him. Hey, what if I tried to annoy the Medusa with the lamp on the shield? Position it just right, and it might work. Aha. Dann drehen wir den zu nehmen mit dem Schild. Da müssen wir den zu... Ne, der muss ja dann... Moment. Zu dem mit dem Schwert gedreht werden. Damit... Das Licht theoretisch rüber scheinen kann. Was ist hier? The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. There's an extra line in the Latin translation. The night light was reflected in the shield and blinded the monster. So the hero with the sword seized the opportunity and cut off its head. Wenn ich es richtig sehe, dürfte ich das doch jetzt erreicht haben, oder? Zum Helden mit dem Schild. Sie wird jetzt geblendet. Und er kann zuschlagen. Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Hmm. I was feeling a bit peckish. I went in search of the kitchen and I ended up here. Your sense of direction is mind boggling, isn't it? Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh yeah, in your dreams. At your service, madam. Okay, wo sind wir hier? Ancient Greek translated. It reads, "The All Gifted." Could this jar be the original Pandora's box? Emily, I've found Pandora's box. It's not as impressive as I thought it would be, but that's how these things usually go. I detest that legend. Once again, women are made responsible for all of the world's evils. And stop playing with that pot. You'll break it. Come on, let's move on. Ich lasse es erstmal. Ach Mist, jetzt kann ich es doch nicht mehr. Ich dachte, ich könnte das vielleicht später noch mal machen. Hätte ich gerne mal aufgemacht. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No, you are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer has been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide and say it's the golden fleece. 
We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? Ich muss einmal kurz gucken, weil mein Kopfhörer sich ausgeschaltet hat. Was eigentlich unnötig ist. Es hängt am, der hängt am Strom. Einmal kurz. So, so, da hat der Empfänger wohl ein bisschen geschlunzt. Ich hole mir einmal noch mal ein paar Punkte zurück. Ein unofficial Gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, <laughs> shut up. In other words, you haven't even opened one. Interessant, wie man sich hier gegenseitig angreift. Mal gucken, was wir hier zu der Pistole. Ne, zu einem Messer. Au. Oh. Oder zu einer Münze. Hm. Oh, von Caesar. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Stop! Don't put your grubby fat fingers on it. You find my fingers fat? <laughs> At least put on some gloves. Please note, my fingers are slim. You were going to leave marks. My God, what an amateur. Many a harpsichord players would love to have sexy fingers like mine. Tell me where you took your infiltration classes so I can have your tutor executed. Let's compare hands then. We'll soon see whose fingers are fattest. <laughs> no, I'm not going to compare hands with you. Let's just keep going. Bad loser. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer. Ah, okay. Excalibur. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. I think this is Excalibur, King <laughs> Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet, you're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Ja, hat sie ja recht. Bernstein, sehr schön. Amber Crystals. Aber kriege ich nicht automatisch gesteigert, schade. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Hmm. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know. I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. 
Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Hmm. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Ich würde einmal gerne gucken, was weiß ich über sie? Äh, wo ist sie denn? Emily Hillsborough. Schwäche gegen Psychologie, aber immun gegen Logik. Okay. Nothing. I have done absolutely nothing for you. No to this, no to that. You ask for proof of trust, but when you get it, you turn a deaf ear. You are defiant, evasive, and paranoid. Go question your own motives. I've done all I can. All right, fine. There's no point getting on your high horse, you know. So I'm wary, I grant you that. I'll admit, you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. <laughs> well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Psychology. No, moment. Äh, Schwäche, doch, Schwäche in Psychologie hat sie. Ich will aber noch einmal eben kurz gucken. Der Kamillengeist ist das, was wir nutzen müssten. You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves and you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman and yes, you are a strong woman, of course, but... What I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Entweder das, aber das kostet mich was. Ne, es kostet mich gar nichts mehr, ne? Kosten reduziert um drei. I don't see us as partners okay. for life. You won't owe me anything, you know. It doesn't commit you to anything after all. All right, you've gone to a lot of trouble. You deserve an answer. I already have a work partner. Okay. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler, so... Your partner is... Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma. My twin sister. 
Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister, Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Okay. Liebe Leute, wir benutzen das auch, um zu liefen, um uns zu verabschieden für heute von dieser Runde The Circle. Morgen geht es weiter. Ich bin schon bin gespannt, wie es weitergeht. Wir haben hier eine vielleicht natürliche Verbündete oder jemand, der uns ziemlich gut reinlegen kann. Das werden wir noch sehen, aber erst morgen. In dem Sinne, macht's gut, habt eine schöne Zeit, bis dahin. Ciao, sagt Patje.